Wakey Bakey, my little potheads. Welcome to another episode of Wakey Bakey Island Tours, the channel where I get baked and I tour Animal Crossing Islands. And yes, you heard that correctly. I'm baked. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly annihilated at the moment. Oh, we've had some technical difficulties, peeps. I did it again. I did it again. I was moving stuff and rearranging because my device kept falling on the floor and, and behind my table. So I was rearranging stuff. Apparently, I didn't get things ba put back together correctly. And, well, this is like the third time I've been to this amazing, amazing island. This is the island of Sunrose. Our designer is Ms. Sib. And this is... You can catch her at Sunrose Crossing on Instagram. This island is terrifying and amazing all at the same time. The sheer stark beauty of the island of Sun Rose. It is based on the deserts of Western Australia. And I have so many questions. And so I'm just going to let everybody see what I've been seeing. And I'm going to ask my questions, Miss Sib. And we're all just going to be one big happy baked family. <laughs> I did it again. We all know why. I was high. <laughs> dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. If you have an island you'd like me to tour, absolutely drop me a line down below. I will would love to add you to my list. I love to tour all islands. <laughs> and if you like this channel and you want to see more comment, just, you know, drop me a like and a follow. All right. Here we go with our tour. Because I already know that this is an amazing island, I have dressed appropriately in my Outback gear, or what I'm hoping is some Outback gear. <laughs> the closest I could come to it, Mrs. Miss si Miss because, well, I am not from Australia. I only see these, these pictures, you know, on the telly, and, um... I, I just have so many questions, okay? But first, outfit check, check, <laughs> flag check, check. And, and I, I really seriously have like three pictures. Like I've done two, two full tours of this island. <laughs> I've done two full tours of this island. So, okay. Here we go. Open canned juice. Open outback hat we're gonna wear because it is a shade I don't have and I absolutely adore and I'm really bummed I can't take it back with me. <gasps> Open. Oh, and the lace up boots. They are fabulous. I do have these. I just don't have this amazing outback hat. Open. Open the ocarina. <laughs> okay, let us run down to our airport entrance. Um, I always like to check out the airport entrance because this is what the visitors get to see when they come to people's islands. And I mean, look at this. <laughs> you know, we all work so hard on our 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 en airport entrances and. I have so many questions, <laughs> Mrs. Miss Sim. This is, is this really what it looks like? Is it this desolate? I mean, I love your touches. I love this dusty, dried brick. I love the, um, the weeds and the little sprouts of wheat coming up. Um, so, so many questions. Like... This is so desolate. We see the tracks. I mean, <laughs> I love the ATM. Uh, uh, deserts. I, yeah, they're not really my jam. <laughs> but this looks amazing. I love this. <laughs> this is crazy cool. 
like we're digging a hole. I thought this was fabulous. But I have like nothing to compare this to. I love the kangaroo crossing sign. Okay, I just saw that. And I'm a little bit ashamed. Um, gotta get a picture. I'm a little bit ashamed because I didn't see these <laughs> the first couple of times. Because I was high. <laughs> okay, so let's check out our cast of characters. <laughs> We have Miss Sib, and her house is just right to the left of us on the beach, so we'll be heading there first. We have Mira, Lily, Rio, Lobo, Tasha, oh, it, it jumped real quick, Kitty, Shep, Francine, Bam, and Weber. Okay, and her house is, I think the majority of them are decorated, but Shep's is an OG and his is the same. I believe. I did go in and some of her houses are done and they're really cool. So, I'm hoping um <laughs> just a little beach shack. How could we not want to come hang on here? The only thing like okay, I am wearing my sword because well this is Australia and you have scary, scary, scary stuff. And I'm so grateful that you did not do this at night when, you know, the tarantulas and the scorpions would be chasing me. I, I would be screaming and terrified the whole entire time. So, um, you walk in to this and this is like a whole other style that I've not seen it done like this. It's, it's rustic, but... I do like the black walls on this side. Miss Sib, you have a style that is unlike anything I can compare to. I, I say, I'm going to say that a lot. I like it a lot. It's just different than what I'm used to. And I have really nothing to compare it to. I have to know, is this how homes are decorated in Australia? Um, absolutely adore this room. And the reasons I adore it or I love the the library wall and because you have one of my favorite chairs this chair is completely and thoroughly underrated it is one of my faves i did it in a uh happy home i uh island house and it was when the wolf asks you for the beauty shop and i used this and then the the diy bowl you know wash stand so i love that it is one of my faves. And of course, you got Rover's little uh, luggage there. Where I'm a fan. That's a fan favorite for me. Mm. Drinking my lavender coffee, my lavender latte that I got today. And I'm obsessed. Do y'all have like favorite coffee shops edge in your home, your hometown? I, I have a couple that are my fave. And right now, June's is like. Ugh, I'm, a, I'm just, yeah, obsessed with it. <laughs> Not like everybody's going to run out to Shiloh, Illinois. <laughs> a lot of my peeps, I'm not sure if they know who, um, that it's me. <laughs> it would be interesting to see who knew that it was me. But, um, I'm obsessed with this whole room because I would not have thought about putting the the glass subway tile with the rose wall it works it's um again that tad bit of vintagey feel so i liked this in case anybody was curious <laughs> so if this is your first time joining us i have a pattern i have adhd i live with two aspies and when I fall off the pattern, and actually it's pretty good that I've already seen this island because I probably will stick pretty true to the island so there will not be, I, I won't be running off the rails. Um, thought this was really cool. Uh, I actually really liked the yellow jack and the yellow touch with the um, espresso maker back there. And like who all of us doesn't like have the day that we mopped, we leave our mop bucket out. I do all the time, and I'm, I'm the worst at it. 
Actually, if you go in there now, the mop bu bucket is in there. <laughs> it's pretty sad. But I've got, you know, got to get it in use, like, because we're going on vacay. It just, just like, less than a week now. Less than a week, people. I'm so excited. And, oh, my gosh. Okay. Explain this one to me. Miss Sib, I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. I think it's crazy funny that it's upstairs, but I didn't get it. Um, so you're going to have to, is this, you got to explain this thought process to me. I, oh, and I didn't like the creaking. I didn't like the creaking. That wigged me out the first time. <laughs> so maybe everybody is really <laughs> grateful they didn't get to see that. Because, <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I was like, oh my gosh, you made a noise. I was wigged. <laughs> of course, maybe that's your favorite part. I don't know. I uh, thought this was funny. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to do that. Bugger. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can do that. Put it away. Sit down. Hit the drums. Get a pitcher. Ooh, I like this. Up a little bit. Over. And it won't let me hit the drums and get a picture. I don't know why. I don't like that, Nintendo. I think that, like, with activities like this, we should be able to get a picture of ourselves doing the drums. You know? Just my thought. All right. I did love your house, Miss Sib. I just have, like, is that... Because it's semi-like... It's rustic, but it's kind of minimalist at the same time. And maybe that's what's throwing me or taking me back. Because when I think of rustic, I am always constantly thinking of the cottage core where everybody's throwing everything everywhere. So this is rustic and um, it's rustic and minimalist all at the same time so it's totally throwing me loved the field loved this pattern and if you look how adorable there's little tumbleweeds on there i mean isn't that just cute <laughs> i loved that very very good thing i loved that it was a good touch and i would imagine that that's pretty normal like y'all have tumbleweeds <gasps> what? Did you all see the fly? How did you get the fly on there? I have one sitting on a can. On the barrel. But I want another picture of it flying. But I don't have one. Like, do you have to sit it on the ground to get the can? Oh, I hope I got it. Okay. All right. Fan of that. That is new. See, I am so baked. I still see new things. <laughs> I still see new things. Um, I was a fan of this. And I love how you've got the radioactive stuff back here. But I'm, I really love the white uh, lighthouse. So, um... I loved this extension on your house. I loved the desolate, broken, um, and I say they're broken. The tracks, like, there's nothing, oh, and I do love your, the, you have, like, some flower fields going on that I thought were pretty cool, too. All right, let's go back. Oh, yeah, like, okay. This is like one of the cool things she did here, okay? We know it's a really desolate area. She took the big heads and made them into ginormous rocks, like flipped them around. So I thought that was pretty inventive. Um, I loved her able sisters. Hey, Lily, you little freak. <laughs> um, here's one of her few grass areas and it's actually pretty cool because she does this sunken sunken in uh, museum as you can tell it's pretty sunken in it's a 
totally cool vibe. I liked it. Um, really nothing else over in here that you can get to, but it's, she's, obviously it's in autumn, Lily, you little freak, and then you come back and you've got this little hideaway beach back here, dried, cracked ground, oh, look at the snapping turtles, watch, can I touch them? Again, I would like to be able to touch the snapping turtles and have them, you know, do this. <laughs> Hiss at ya. <laughs> Just my two cents, Nintendo. Just my two cents. If you agree, man, drop a note down below. <laughs> oh, man, I think... Why is nobody out of their houses? Okay. Do a villager tour. Be a good one, be a good one, be a good one. Oh, yes. Okay, this is Bam's house. You can see she's redone it. I actually didn't tour Bam's house before. So this is new for me. I love how she has the uh, bikes on the wall, but then this little stand right here. Soup's cute. Uh, this is new love it the safety fence back there that's funny little bike rental so bam is a little shop back here this is cute i love it miss sip that was pretty inventive and i bet bam likes it too he doesn't like me running in for dang sure he's like uh hello psycho that's what he's telling okay um, was there a house up here oh I thought this was really cool. Like, is this based on a, a place, a park or something? I mean, if you think about what it took for her to do this massive desert that she did. Oh, Miss Sib. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Full on got her. That's the best yet. Props, props, props. Um, she's got these little uh, park spots or ponds, this little pond space back here. I can't really get anywhere, but it, it works for your, I mean, her whole island is this vibe and I love it. And I hate, this is another, well, I can get it from here. I do like this view with the moon. That's pretty cool. You got a little cavern here. Then you come back and you've got a mining cave, which, well done. <laughs> She's got the cement trunk running. Again, with the big heads. Lots of stone hinges. Did you, like, have to go and do, get, I wanted to know, like, did you have to do a lot of treasure islands or were people giving you the stone hinges? Mm -hmm. Because we can't buy them, right? Like, you have to get them only from the drunken bird. <laughs> oh, this was one Weber's house I adored. Like, if you look back at that back wall, um, it looks like there's, it's like a cave spot. I, I thought that was so inventive. And then she had the termite thing back in there it was well done girl i was so impressed honestly this was such a unique island it's one i'm going to remember for a long time to come and the amount that it had to have taken you um oh this little sunken spot back here now we couldn't get to it from over there but the sunken in waterfall I mean, how gorgeous is this view? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, you can see it was my hat <laughs> in the weeds. <laughs> um, I'm a pretty huge fan of your whole island. I loved the desolateness of it. Oh, oh, house, house, house. Okay. And I just... I actually, the first couple times... I didn't notice that. I ran past that house a couple times. 
Oh, shiitake mushroom. I have to tell you, I ran past Weber's house a couple times. Didn't realize that it was a house, like the first tour. So, um, props for that. Um, another gore... Oh, this is a good view. Hey, kitty, you little freak. I love this right here. I loved that. Okay, another gorgeous, gorgeous field of flowers. The fields of flowers, are there, is that pretty normal? Like, just, they just, the desert just opens up to this amazing flowers. And I didn't see a lot of cactuses. Like, okay, that surprised me. Um, can you explain that? Because, you know, they have the tall cactuses. Do you just not have... Is that just uh, an American desert thing? Um, <laughs> look at the toilet. Hey, Francine, a little freakish. Freakish freak. Okay. So that was stunning to me. Like, there's so many termite, mound, termite mounds. Um, I loved that. Um, so, yeah. That was surprising to me. I loved... All the, the wheat fields, you utilized those really well. But, like, the cactus, the cacti, like, you didn't have any. Um, thought this was freaking crazy cool. Have to tell you, of course, my favorite chairs. We've already discussed that. Tasha, like, I, I love the mirrors, the wall units, all of it. It all works. Tasha, turn your little freak head around here, you. hit the button there she is she's so professional i would come here to get my hair done by tasha i love it even though she's stinky <laughs> even though she's a little skunker i would totally come loved it you did a fabulous job there i'm a fan 50 points to gryffindor so then we come down again she utilized these in the most unique way these castle walls i didn't i didn't know what to think uh favorite bike <sighs> does it when you do that does it i just like like i can just release the air from my body it's just strange oh, I, I must be a freak <laughs> my son just said yeah you are <laughs> uh thought this was the most adorable little sewing space. Um, I'm kind of completely obsessed. I, I have to tell you, you did such a cute job in this space. <laughs> Look at her. She's so cute. I loved it. I, I loved it all. I love just the little touch of the, just the mini the mini kitchen, I mean, you, you really did well, giving her lots of, of little spaces. And the sewing was my favorite, of course. You know, I love the sewing. Little sewing nooks, my fave. Okay, so there was another house we did. And then we come down to this beach. Oh, okay, yay! Uh, thought this was cute, too. Okay, so... Maybe this is Shep's. I can't remember. It is Shep's. And he's my OG. This is a real minimal wall thing that, you know, she, I don't think she changed it too much. I think that's his original stuff. And I loved it. <laughs> I love Shep. And, okay. This was pretty fabulous. Look at, I didn't get it in the other picture, but the broken, um, the broken gangplank walkway, wooden walkway. That's so cute. Such a cute touch. Um, I thought this was absolutely adorable. Obsessed with it. I love the ice cream on the outside. I thought that was fabulous. Again, the termites. Like, is this really the termite? Do you, I mean, do y'all have a lot of these termite mounds? Is this real? Or is it supposed to be something else in the desert? Are you using it for something else? Um, I 
think that's okay. Oops. Let's go for the cavern. Spooky skull. Um, we saw that portion. We saw those houses there. We saw the museum. Did we see our campsite? Let's run over to the campsite. Then we'll try her over her other side. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Can I go up and over? Oh, no. I can't because... Okay, and that's our cavern to go back. So I have to go around it and is this supposed to like be a mountain i guess so like that would be like a mountain pass is it is it a, a certain mountain range does it have a name oh yeah i did like this a lot i loved the radioactive tell me that there's not barrels like that in australia i'm gonna be bummed oh, again i have to tell you i'm so grateful with all this running around the desert that you had it, like, not at night, I would have just been peeing my pants. <laughs> um, thought this is a cute shack. Didn't quite understand. It's, like, there's just these little, are there just little outposts like this? Again, you're like, shut up, Wendy. Just do the tour. But I don't know. Again, this is the most, oh, and I thought this was to die for. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It was the cutest thing ever. I'm, I'm fishing. <laughs> I loved it. It is the pure um, starkness and minimalistic rusticness. I, I, I have never experienced anything like this before. So I loved this bridge here. And then explain the satellite dishes to me because they're crazy cool. I loved the little uh, fishing spot off the back. And um, yeah, I'm going to get a picture because it is one of my favorite, favorite spots on your island. Uh, bar none. And it's, it's your most simple, but I think it's the most thoughtful it's a really beautiful spot. I loved it. I loved that you chose... Okay, we've seen these two. I loved that you chose this time of day to look out for your fishing spot. It was, to me, the most thoughtful part. Don't judge me. Takes very little to make me happy. <laughs> and I loved that, too. All right, y'all. I think I think we have seen everything on this amazingly freaking cool island. Um, don't judge me for the three times it took me to finally get it. Hopefully, this one. <laughs> hopefully, this one took. Hey, Francine, you little freak. Yeah, I did that. The beautiful yellow flower island part. Miss Sib's house. Yeah, this was... And this little depot. Um, I do want to get a couple of pics of this before we go. Because the layering upon layering that she does, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a general store. And then if you go behind her resident services, first of all... Um, the nook's cranny off, but the amount of layering that goes on behind nook's cranny was pretty freaking incredible to you. You can see the truck back there, the scaffolding, uh, storefronts, and the little weather hut things. Just really a very amazing job of layering. And... Uh, I'm blown away. And for those who listen and are actually from Australia, tell me, is this true? Did she do a good job? I feel like she did an amazing job, and I'm so grateful that I got to tour. Uh, I want to thank you, Miss Sib, for letting me tour. This was crazy cool. I, I'm blown away. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I want to thank all my Wakey Bakey Peeps for letting me tour and film for y'all. Um, again, you know, if you like it, you know, hit a like, hit a follow. Uh, if you got an island you want me to tour, drop me a line below. Um, I think that's all my housekeeping I've got, y'all. But again, thank you, Miss Sib. It was fabulous. Just fabulous fabulous primo island stunning 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 loved it so totally baked <laughs> still oh, remember y'all it's rough out there so get your bake on and play some animal crossing i love you i'm out <laughs>